Hello and welcome back from my kayak. Today is going to be a short fishing trip, so I'm gonna cut right to the chase. I'm gonna start out with a BFS rod right here. This is actually a custom rod from my friend over in Illinois, Christopher. Christopher made this for me. I wasn't expecting it. I didn't ask for it. He's just a good guy and he gave it to me. So today I'm gonna to be talking about it. I'm gonna be fishing with it. I've got a couple other rods with me as well. Ultimately, the main goal is to catch fish. Whatever bites is good with me, Let's get started. I'm starting out with a 1 8 ounce workhorse jig with a Donkey Tail Junior on there and a Bronco blade. These windy conditions, I think a little bit of a spinner, a little bit of flash is going to be a, a good thing. This is a windblown bank, so I kind of figure that can't hurt to go down this bank to start. The wind is just hammering it. That was a weird, weird bite. I hooked him and it felt like I was snagged and then he stayed on there. That was really, really, really weird. I think he was behind a tree limb or something. And look at that rod, look at that rod. Oh my gosh, look at that rod. <laughs> Holy smokes. It's a pretty nice one. But more than that, we got wind and this rod is definitely a light action. Let's get out away from these trees. Oh man, it's pretty nice bass. It is windy. There you go. Gimme, gimme. How about that? It's a good way to start the day. Didn't really expect a big chunk like that. And a little micro spinner bait does the job. It's that little Bronco blade with the workhorse jig. It's a quality bass right there. See buddy, man, this wind is pushing me right up against this bank. That was a weird bite. I set the hook and it just felt like I literally hooked into a stick, but it was the bass. It's just, I think the bass might've been behind like a piece of cover or something. It was a weird, weird bite. I think one of the most interesting and unique things about this rod is it's actually spiral wrapped. So the first guide is right here and then it goes a little bit to the left and then a little bit to the left, a little bit to the left. And then by the time that it gets to the tip of the guides, they're actually on the underside, almost like a spinning rod. It's a very interesting concept. This is the first time I've ever owned a rod that has a spiral wrapped blank. Um, I'm not really sure what I think of it, to be honest with you, because it's so new to me. But he says he's a pretty big believer in it. He thinks it looks cool, but he thinks it works really well with BFS. So I totally trust him. And in that case, you know, caught the fish, so I can't complain too much. That fish put a lot of flex down the backbone of this rod. That was fun. I will say I really like the simple butt design. It's just like a foam and um, it's shorter to where it's easy to just kind of flick of the wrist accurately place it so i really like the feeling of this rod it's not like to the level of a pistol grip it's still got a full rod butt but it's shorter and i feel like that's really nice for this style of fishing i am going to go ahead and try like a little jerk bait this is like a little yozuri one There we go. Man, working my tail off out here. What do we have here? A little bass on the micro drop shot. I don't know, I kind of just, oh boy, oh boy. Let's try not to break the rod today. Oh boy, oh boy. Ah. Well, thankfully I did not break the BFS rod during the process. Started getting hung up in the trees there. This wind is getting worse and worse so while i started out here it was probably about 12 or 13 mile an hour wind but i think it's heavier than that now chunky little bass just fishing with that little drop shot i used in a recent video it's still that white horse fly on there i just figured i'd open up the door for perch or whatever else wants to bite in this case i just caught a little dinky bass and i'm okay with a dinky bass because i've literally just caught that one fish and it's been kind of slow going ever since then so I decided to give up on the BFS rod just for the time being. I'll bust it out again here soon. The thing I like about the micro drop shot is I can really fish it in the wind. You know, sometimes it's 
challenging. You know, this level of wind is not exactly easy, but I can still get away with it. A little bit larger weight just allows you to kind of feel what's going on a little bit better than a lot of ultralight techniques. So I'm just kind of drifting it around near the bank. You know, this is a steeper bank, so I'm fishing it probably anywhere from about four feet down to about 10 feet. And I'm just kind of drifting it and twitching it around, letting the wind blow it around a little bit. And I figure eventually I'm gonna put it in front of a fish or two. So hopefully I can catch more than just that one little bass. At this point, I will take another one. Nice solid bass. That fish bit super weird, so I just kind of poked him. I just kind of hit him real light with my rod, and I got him there. There you go. Man, that was a light bite, my friends. All right, did we figure something out with this drop shot? I don't know. Wow, oof -da. Okay, well, he choked it. It was a real light bite. Let's try not to break any rods today. I'm gonna have to put all my rods down by my feet because I really don't want one getting hung up in the trees. And he had that thing down in his throat. Nice little bass there, nothing crazy, but at this point we just caught two within the last like two minutes. So that is good progress the way I see it. This is kind of an unconventional way to throw the drop shot. I'm really getting it up there right on the bank. And like I said, it's a steep bank but I'm getting it up there next to the brush and the trees and stuff. And I'm just letting it sink. I'm getting my line down by the water because there's all this wind just blowing across me. And if I put my rod tip up, what's gonna happen is my line's gonna get caught in that wind more. And really what I'm trying to do is just kind of bounce this thing around near the bank and just hope that a fish scoops it up. And honestly, it's, it's a little bit dangerous casting this thing up against the bank because there's a lot of tree limbs and stuff you can hang up on, but I think the closer I can get it there, the better, because as mentioned, these fish seem to be sitting pretty shallow for the most part. It's kind of deceiving because it gets pretty deep quick. So they might be sitting, you know, on three foot of water. They might be sitting in six foot of water. It's hard to say. Thought that was a fish, but I think that was a tree limb. Oh, something was playing with it. I bet that was a little yellow perch. Dang it. At this point, I will end with whatever I can get. If I get a little dinky yellow perch to end my day, that would be just fine. Another one. Oh wait, yellow perch. What was I just talking about? Dinky yellow perch. I will take it. I knew there was a chance at another fish. And I knew I could catch another species. Love to see it. Man, that is a skinny little perch. See ya, buddy. Well, you know what? I think that's gonna go ahead and do it for today's fishing trip. And the one thing I was really thinking about is when you are faced with a lot of wind, you've got a couple options as an angler. The first option would be to cover as much water as possible and throw some kind of reaction bait. And that's what I intended to do today. But as that wind got stronger and stronger, and I wasn't catching fish and I was losing confidence, I really switched to the other option. And that is to slow down and fish a confidence bait in one spot and just fish it really hard. Now, in this case, I was throwing the ultralight drop shot. I just recently did a complete guide to this rig. Um, and I will say, I love this rig, but when the wind is blowing, it is one of the best ways to maintain a slow micro profile. If you wanna fish with ultralight in the wind, it can be challenging, but this one right here is a great option. So make sure to check it out. Check out that other video. You can learn everything about this rig there. Otherwise, thanks for watching this short fishing video. We will catch you next time.